Hey YouTube, it is Easy Prepper 101. Today we are doing a kind of a 2021 end of the year garden. As you can see, we have pulled all of our pumpkins out and when we go down the line, we're gonna show you everything else is pulled except for one plant that is still producing, which is kind of shocked. But right now, I'm gonna start with our pumpkin box as we have right here. Uh, this was a great success this year of growing a lot of small baby pumpkins and a lot of growing which we weren't we were surprised because we just didn't know how they were going to do with seeds the one thing we definitely learned is that when the pumpkin would actually would start to grow they would actually be carrying over the sides and a lot of critters and that were getting into it so my wife <clears throat> looked into it about saying that they do like to climb up on a lattice so what we are going to be doing and next year, for my dad who does watch these videos, we're gonna be, have to build one more of these boxes here. And what we're gonna end up doing, I'm gonna show you where we're actually going to put it. Now right here, this is a, we have a wood pile here. And we're gonna pretty much put the box about right in here and we're gonna put lattice on there and there to um, have them climb so that's what we're going to be doing and then for the wood pile if you care or do not care we're pretty much going to move it right here in this space which would look very good now we're going to go into the squash and zucchini so this year we had the squash and zucchini in this box and the one thing what happened was the zucchini pretty much um, murdered the squash, LOL, uh, because all of this zucchini that we had pretty much overflowed into the squash and we got a few squash, but we got a great harvest of the zucchinis. And if you kind of want to see a lot of pictures of the garden and what we do, check out my Instagram because I did post a lot of pictures of the garden on there and I'm active on there, usually posting once a day so but the zucchini was great and the squash just got overrun so what we're going to be doing is this box right here is going to get the zucchini the pumpkin box that we had that i showed you in the very first clip that is going to be the uh, that is going to be the tomatoes which we're gonna to get to down the, uh, a little bit down the road there. So that's gonna to be tomatoes because the box that we actually had the tomatoes and we'll just kind of walk over here real quick. Uh, this was our tomato box and we really liked, we yielded great tomatoes of what we had, but we just want to give them more room to grow and we think we'll, we're gonna produce more going in a bigger box. So that's why we're gonna take the pumpkin box and that's gonna be where the tomatoes are gonna to be their new home. And then the new box will be, the, that, that I showed you, will be for the pumpkins. So that's what we're gonna be doing here. But all in all, we got some great, some great zucchini out of this. And like I said, the squash didn't really do it because the zucchini would just come in and took it over. But it's one of those things where we learn, it's kind of like uh, when we get to the peppers, we'll talk about that. And we're gonna slide over here to this little guy right here this is where we had our snap peas and they grew very well at the very beginning but then all of a sudden they just kind of died and we tried to do put nutrients and stuff in there we had uh for it to grow on but it just didn't do that well had a few other people grow them and had that same issue so if you have success growing them let me know maybe there's something i need to do so that's kind of like an all-in-one of you know a couple the two boxes and this one right here so now we're going to get into the potatoes with the potatoes that what we did this year we've had another great year and the one thing we're going to be doing for the knee for 2022 is we're actually going to get rid of the dirt that is in here now when we build the new box for the new pumpkins we're actually going to put that a good chunk of this at the very bottom and then kind of layer it up and then a lot of this other dirt we're going to kind of just use into filling around um, other parts of the garden or soil that we might need for what we're going to be expanding the gardening for next year so the potatoes was a great success but i think we are going to get brand new dirt for next year which is going to be very exciting and you know continue to produce and we're actually if i stick my hand in here right now it still is producing these little finger links so i'm going to stick this back in there 
and that's the, the great thing about it so um, the one thing we were not going to do which was right next door uh, right here we had that little box we got from Lowe's to do the potatoes um, I wouldn't recommend doing that I think it was not a waste of money but if you have like a very small area or if you live in a city where everything is tight corners or close corners that is that would be something perfect to do and I just think for a gardener of what we're doing um, it really doesn't do it but I think they did have strawberries and we did have a hanging basket which we'll get to in a second um, to talk about uh, possibly doing the strawberries in a box like the, like the potatoes we did this year instead of doing the hanging basket and now we're gonna get to our peppers and the cucumbers right here this is our bottom box where we had our peppers uh, we had the two peppers here and here and I think having two peppers yielded our best year of peppers since we started the garden and we used the peppers a lot to make fajitas and um, a lot of other dishes out there my wife would use it for a salad so peppers was great um, you know we definitely did some different types of the colors this year next year it could be I think we're gonna maybe go to like a orange and yellow or green and red I mean just whatever we see and then for the cucumber as you can see here the cucumber really didn't do that good this year whatever we got for the cucumbers a lot of the cucumbers be like became very like almost like circle would intertwine with the lattice and we didn't really like that and we got the same cucumbers we've got in the past so I think what we're actually going to be doing and when, we were, and when this is actually going to roll into the eggplant was we had a couple plants that we got from a farmer that we have in Perrysburg every Thursday they have a farmer's market and we got an eggplant from him and we got a couple tomatoes and the, everything has turned out fantastic that we've gotten from them so this is um by the time this video comes out it'll already uh, the last Thursday will pass but we're going to reach out to him give him a list to see if he can order or not order if we can order from him um, all the stuff that we're gonna want to plant um, so that'd be something maybe I will do maybe a follow-up video maybe later on down the road or it might be something I might just post live on Instagram or try the YouTube uh, short clips but um, cucumbers we're definitely gonna be doing something new try to find the right cucumbers what we want to do but very happy with the peppers and what we did there and then we just got to try to work on with the cucumbers and next is when you guys see this you're not gonna believe this and we've gotten a lot of rain lately and these are still producing flowers and buds and that's the eggplants so as you can kind of see I'm gonna try to zoom out here this are literally it's two eggplants but it kind of sprouted off into another section which I'll show you but this is still producing and if we focus there you see the flower buds that it is still producing eggplant like look at this little guy right here i mean that is beautiful looks fresh and you know we did not want to pull it and the same thing i'll paint the camera down look at the size of this i mean it is just actually beautiful of what this is producing um we just can't believe it and we're gonna take it, I'm gonna pick you up and take you to the other side here. But as you can kind of get close there, you kind of see more flowers. But we have one more, you know, like a good sized eggplant that could probably be ready. But here's the crazy part it keeps getting better. And sorry for the shaky cam because I'm moving the tripod. But if you look at this right here, this is an eggplant starting. But if you look down here, this is another eggplant getting ready to grow. So this, as you can see, when we zoom out here, you know, we had four eggplants and we have, we have two left. And actually the one that's there sprouted over here. So we were just beyond ecstatic. Um, it is still hot. We're having Ohio, we're having our best, <laughs> October we're in the 80s high 80s every day we didn't want to kill the garden but we kind of had to so but kudos to the eggplants I mean that is just rocking out super impressed uh, yes I am wearing flip-flops because it's nice outside but now we're gonna take you to our hanging strawberry plant 
So this is our hanging strawberry plant. This is our second season trying to do this. Um, my sister-in-law who's had these in the past has had great success. And we are now on year two where we are not getting it to where we're putting it in the sun, out of the sun, in the shade, try not to overwater it. And we would get strawberries, but not a lot. So that's why I think when I was talking before about how uh, Lowe's had the potato box, we are gonna do the hanging strawberry. Instead of doing the hanging strawberry plant, we're gonna try the strawberry plant with the box. And now we're gonna get to the rain barrels. All right, sorry if this is a little noisy. My air conditioning just kicked on. Like I said, it's in like, it's like 84 degrees right now. But as you can see, we have three rain barrels and we have one new one, which is uh, this red one here that I got from a friend. Uh, his name's Travis. Um, we talk all the time about prepping and, you know, try to help each other out of maybe, you know, staying ahead of what's going on in the news or if we see stuff grocery shopping. So he had this one. Um, asked me if I wanted it and I said, yeah, absolutely. Um, he definitely said there was uh, two issues you had to do was one at the very bottom, you know, got to fix the, the two spouts there, which is not that big of a deal. That's an easy fix. And then on the back side, there are, uh, there's a back side here. As you can see, there's a, a little uh, damage. So I just sprayed some flex seal back there and um, gonna get that um, ready to go. So this is gonna be ready for next year because with us adding another box, I'm gonna get this one ready to go, but I'm not going to daisy chain this one to my original three. Uh, this is actually gonna be in another spot, uh, same side as the rain barrel, but it'll be up front uh, to collect the uh, rain water that we need for it. So um, if we do need to, uh, there's been a few times last year and this year where we got super, super close to where we almost thought we were gonna have to use the hose. So, um, you know, it's good to have friends out there. And one of those things too is talk to your neighbors if you can, because they might have something like this, like this little rain barrel here to help you out. So um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this video up for you. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap this video up for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, kind of the review of how we did for 2021. If you guys, like I said, wanna see pictures of how the garden's going and stuff like that, uh, check out my Instagram. I'll put that in the description box. So you guys can kind of see what we did with the garden and also you know if you guys want to be uh up to date on how those last eggplants uh turn out and the one thing i forgot to mention was when we pulled the tomatoes and um i'm gonna try to take a picture and maybe try to throw it in at the very end um all the tomatoes the green tomatoes that are still going and if those all ripen up we should be able to make one more bag of sauce and that was the great thing about this year was the tomato or the, the tomatoes produced more this year than we've had in the past which is a good thing because that means we're able to kind of save that up and uh make our homemade tomato sauce like we did and be able to use it so because sometimes you know it's good to have the store-bought but when you can grow it and then make it yourself like we did with the eggplant like you saw in the last video um just very satisfying so super excited about how we did this year um already looking forward to next year uh because you just don't know with what happened in 2020 um doing gardens and raised beds like this you know the lumber in that and especially with the lumber prices this year they went crazy so we're already kind of looking at next year of what we're going to do and kind of start being ready come about march of next year to kind of start buying the stuff getting ready so come about april we can start uh, rocking and rolling for that so um that's it hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh write down in the comments if you guys had a successful garden season because i would love to hear about it um, or if you have any questions about the garden or what we've done um, check that out and if you kind of want to see any specs of how we built some of the boxes um, i have a playlist um, on my youtube where you can see uh the, it's called the gardening playlist and it'll kind of tell you from how we built the stuff to the planning and everything else even from the rain barrels and even to the solar kit as well so if you guys want to check that out as well hit the thumbs up if you like this video and if you haven't please hit the subscribe button Thank you guys so much. We will catch you guys down the road.